Hey guys, Dan Taylor here. In this video, I'm going to talk about Viva Sales. And Viva Sales is another application that Microsoft developed, particularly for salespeople or sellers. This application will get sellers out of the busy work and in front of customers. So they're going to have more time to really focus on selling. I'm actually going to do two videos. This video is going to be focusing on Viva Sales within Outlook, and next week's video is going to focus more on Viva Sales and Microsoft Teams. So go ahead, grab some popcorn, and enjoy the video. Once you've installed Viva Sales, the preview in your environment, then you'll notice that when you select an email message, you'll see the Viva Sales button here sitting in the ribbon. So if I click on that, it's going to ask me for the first time, obviously, when I access this to log in, right? You can see here, welcome to Viva Sales, sign into your CRM to see all your important customer information. It gives you a little bit of information about what you can do in Outlook, right? You can mark your customers in Outlook and then get the information you need to close deals. You're going to get rich sales insights on customer meetings in Microsoft Teams, which I will discuss in next week's video. And then again, we're going to be able to see some of that CRM information in Outlook as well. Now it says CRM info in Outlook because Viva Sales, once it's going to be GA, you're going to be able to connect this to any CRM system according to Microsoft. Currently for the preview, we can only uh, utilize this today, right, for this preview again. Uh, with Salesforce and Dynamics 365. But like I mentioned earlier, that's going to be expanded to other CRM systems as well. So I'm going to go ahead and sign into Dynamics 365. And I've already done that prior, so it's probably going to remember my credentials. And then what I need to do is I just need to go ahead and select the environment, right? In this particular case, since I drop this in my sandbox, I'm going to select that sandbox and then click on get started. And now we're kind of connecting those two together, right? My Viva Sales here with my Dynamics 365 instance. So you notice that I actually had to click on the Viva Sales preview button here, but if I want to, I can just go ahead and pin this just like we could do with the Dynamics 365 app for Outlook, right? So that I don't have to constantly click on that button because that could be kind of annoying. So that's how you can do that. Now, if you notice, you can see that Kim actually sent this email, not just to me, but she also sent this to a sjohnson at email.com. And you can see that also here on the right hand side of the screen in Viva Sales that that person is an external contact that is part of this thread that has not been marked as a customer yet. And um, I'll show you in a second uh, how we can review that customer directly from within here. And then even if that person is not in my CRM system, I can even create a new record for that as well. Now we also have Kim, which is the marked customer, right? So if I click on this, you'll notice that I get some details here. Uh, I have XYZ company contacts. If I have any other contacts at this company that are marked as a, a customer, they will show up below here. Then we also have notes regarding this customer. And these are not notes that are gonna be synchronized to Dynamics. These are really notes for you as an individual so that each time when you get uh, an email from this particular person, these notes are going to be visible, right? So anything that you want to remember when you're talking to this person, you can put those notes I'm going to say my notes about Kim here. You can just put them here. And again, those will be visible just for you. Now you'll also know that this person is already marked as a customer. What I can do from here, I can say, oh, this is actually not a customer. And what this does 
is it really kind you're kind of telling Viva Sales that this person, whoever send this email, is an important person and you want to keep track of them in Viva Sales. So when you mark them as a customer, you get this information from Viva Sales and as you can see here, Dynamics 365 directly here in that side pane. If I say this person is not a customer, there's not going to be any data in here. Now, the thing that we cannot do today, which I'm hoping that Microsoft is going to add, is that when you when you actually say about a person, this is not a customer, I cannot go back and mark them back as a customer. So uh, keep that in mind during this preview that you cannot do this. Now also look at Dynamics 365. When I actually click on that, that's going to allow you to review some of that data and even update, right? You can see that here, I can update contact information directly here in this side pane. So I can see opportunities, but the nice thing with this, and we don't have this in Dynamics 365 in the app for Outlook, is that I can see opportunities also that are related to other people. So if there's an opportunity that's not related to Kim Taylor, and what I mean by that is if you're using that parent contact ID field on the opportunity, it's going to show you all of the opportunities at this company, not just opportunities related to Kim. So there's a little bit of a difference here. Then I can review those opportunities. You can see there's a couple of fields here, which during this preview, we cannot edit those cards, unfortunately, but I'm sure that's something that's going to be added later. We can just not do that today, but we can pop this out here and open this in whatever your CRM system is, right? So in my case, in Dynamics 365. And I can do the same thing here with the account as well. Now, the other thing I wanted to note here is for the contact information, you can see we cannot pop that out just yet, but we can edit this. So you notice here that I have a mobile phone number, which was empty. There's no information in that. And let me actually go back here. Since that field is empty, you'll notice that it doesn't show up here in this card, which keeps this card nice and clean, right? This is what we want. If there's no data in it, what's the use in showing that? So let me show you what happens if I actually do put some data in there. I'm going to say 154, 555, something, something. And directly from within here, I can update this inside of Dynamics 365. So these kind of tools, again, really allow these people to work, right? These salespeople to work in the application that they're familiar with without having to go back inside of Dynamics 365 and enter or update the data in there, right? Very nice. You can see here that my contact information has been updated. And now since that mobile phone number has data in it, it's now showing directly here on the card. All right, so let's go back here and now let's take a look and review sjohnson at email.com. Now, before I do that, I wanted to show you that I actually do have a record of this person as a lead inside of my Dynamics V65 system, my CRM system, right? Now today, and again, I'm hoping that this is something that's going to be, um, added right before Viva Sales goes live. But today it's not going to search for leads, right? It's not going to see uh, and take a look at that email and it's going to, it's not going to take a look at leads, compare that to any leads I have in the system, only contacts. So this means that I do not have a contact record, at least that I have access to with this email address in my database. So it's now prompting me to create a new contact. Again, it's not picking up that lead. So hopefully that's going to be added later. So when I click on that, this is just going to load my contact form and pre-populate some of the data. So you can see here, uh, it actually just pre-populated my email address, but I can go ahead. If I know this person's name, that's going to say, let's say it's Sandra and this is Johnson, right? I don't have that information. I only have the email address from Kim Taylor. If I did have an email sent from that person where we do have first name and last name, that will be pre-populated automatically. So now let me just go ahead and save and close that. So you can see what happens here 
in the Viva Sales app. I'm just gonna go ahead and close this, right? So now you can see that Sandra Johnson is now a contact in Dynamics 365. And it's also saying something about the domain, right? Email.com contacts, that's really related to that domain. Uh, again, I can mark this contact as a customer to add notes that are only visible to me. And here you can see that ability for me to mark that person as a customer. Or if I don't care about this particular person, maybe because she's a vendor, maybe because she's a personal contact, whatever that might be, or a coworker, I can just say, this person is not a customer. But then again, we're not gonna get any information in that side pane. So let's go ahead and mark her as a customer. There we go. And as you can see, now I can add my personal notes about this particular person. When you look here in Dynamics 365, since we only added that contact email address, that's all that you see here, right? So once I start updating this data, let's say she's a manager, uh, the account she belongs to is XYZ company. And if that account is in here, you can just link that directly from within here. And then you can update your Dynamics 365, whatever your CRM system uh, might be. Now, if you connected it to the wrong person, you can actually change your connected contact, right? You can see here, this is who she's linked to, but I can create a new contact uh, from here as well. Or maybe I have other contacts that I can sync her to or connect her to, right? You can do that as well. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention here is another option you have here as you are talking to your coworkers is the ability to copy contact information. So if I wanted to go ahead and copy Sandra's contact information, and then I wanna send an email maybe to one of my coworkers, I can do that. So I'm gonna say, uh, Teresa testing, um, do you know her? and I can just copy and paste that in here. This is a link to the record inside of Dynamics 365. So I'm gonna go ahead and send this. And when she actually gets that email, she's gonna be able to click that link and then immediately find this person inside of Dynamics 365. Now, when I go back here to this first screen, you can now see that both of these people have been marked as customers. Now you can also use this when you're composing a new email message. So let me go here into my drafts and I'm gonna open this email message to Angel Castellar. And if I click here on Viva Sales, this person is actually marked as a non-customer, right? I unmarked him. That's kind of what you see here then, right? I don't have, like I said, unfortunately, the option to change him from a non-customer to a customer currently during this preview. So you have to be, you have to be careful with that. But if I send this to, let me just go ahead and, and find Kim Taylor here. And again, I'm going to pull up Viva Pre Viva sales here again, right? I'm going to be able to access that data directly here from within this message. And you can kind of show that here, see that here as well, right? Kim Taylor is in your customer list and I can review that data from here as well. And the same thing also goes for appointments, right? I can create a new appointment and then I can again also use that Viva Sales pane from there as well and view my details. So this was part one of my video. Make sure that you check in next week again because that's when I will be discussing Viva Sales with Microsoft Teams. And there's some really, really cool stuff in there that you definitely don't wanna miss. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks again for watching and until next week.